Well, the official teaser trailer for Star Wars Episode 8 The Last Jedi has arrived at last, meaning the rewind button on my MacBook Pro is now non functional. Nevertheless, as with any new trailer from the galaxy far, far away, it's time to look at each component of the clip in detail to uncover any plot points, easter eggs and overall worthwhile conversation pieces. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. The teaser begins with, well, Luke Skywalker's voice. Breathe. But also Rey's training on the beautiful watery world of Acto, the very location in which episode 7 concluded. This seemingly confirms many fan suspicions that The Last Jedi will pick up directly from where The Force Awakens left off, which makes perfect sense. It doesn't seem right to not fulfil a massive cliffhanger right away. Now, Rey's training and tutelage appears to mirror that of Luke's very own, except Skywalker is now the wise Jedi Master, passing on all of his own knowledge. What seems strange about all of this, however, is what Luke goes on to say in the very final shot of the trailer. It's time for the Jedi to end. If he is literally calling for the extinction of the Jedi, then why does he train Rey in the first place? Maybe he feels like the Jedi cause far more problems than they actually solve. I mean, look at how many Jedi have turned to the dark side in the past, causing irreversible damage to the galaxy. Though, I feel like this line is simply there to throw us off. Obviously, the title of the movie is The Last Jedi, but it could mean a multitude of different things, so I wouldn't read too much into it for the time being. It's also worth mentioning that Rey continues to use Luke and Anakin's former blue lightsaber, at least in training. And so, I wouldn't rule out her crafting a personalised weapon at some point in the future, but let me know what you think in the comments below. As for the rest of the teaser, we see many familiar faces. First of all, Captain Phasma is back! I just hope she isn't wasted once more, though I think it's safe to assume Disney have learned from their previous mistakes. Another returning face is Finn, who appears to be encased in some form of back to tank slash medical capsule, meaning he'll be nursed back to full health in time for the movie's conclusion. However, I can't say the same about Kylo Ren's mask. This is another image that can mean so many different things. Firstly, how was it damaged? And secondly, is it symbolic of his affiliation with the First Order? Only time will tell. On another note, who else thought that was pod racing? Come on, I can't be the only one. I only realised my error upon viewing the distant 8080s. I'm pretty sure Lee can't enter the Bunta Eve classic. Finally, I was thrilled to see Leia, even if it was only for a few seconds or so. I can't wait to see Carrie Fisher's penultimate performance as the character. I'll be honest, before yesterday I wasn't feeling the hype for episode 8, but after viewing this trailer, I cannot wait. I mean, what's not to love about intrigue, suspense and some great action? Even the way in which the opening swerved us by hinting at a landscape of stars only to reveal the ground was a nice little touch, and despite being a teaser, we already have a ton to talk about, so make sure to discuss everything The Last Jedi in the comments below. Also, feel free to point out anything I may have missed from the clip. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, and for all things episode 8, press that subscribe button and notification bell to keep it locked here. To the Kangasans.